All right, still having a lot of fun with the Synchro game, so I think I'm going to play it for one more day using the same list. There's some pretty spicy decks. One game in particular definitely made me quite happy. You think you'll know which one it is. So if you're enjoying the games, if you're enjoying the videos, please consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, and without any further delay, let's uh, get on to the gameplay. All right, a bit of a brick hand, but if we draw another water, we can get a deep sea area to get D.Va. So we're going to T-Set Pass, hope for the best. Mystical Space Typhoon is pretty good. Since we've seen so much back row, hopefully we'll get some use out of it. Oof, Lightning Storm, not great. Activate in response, just to send a message here. Send that Lightning Storm to the graveyard. Our opponent, activating... Activating a Deep Sea Minstrel, sending a Dragoons to the graveyard, searching for Deep Sea Diva. They're playing our own deck. What is this? A man of culture, a fellow man of culture, gonna send a Dragoons to the graveyard. Add a Dragoons opponent. You're supposed to add. You're supposed to add Poseidon to hand. Dragoons gonna activate. They're gonna act. They're gonna add the Megalo, or sorry, the the Mula Glacia. Special summoning a, a Megalo, discarding the Dragoons they searched. Wow, we are getting a taste of our own medicine here. Dragoons is going to search the Abyss Scale of the Mizushi. So far, this is a mirror image of our deck. I am I am impressed. Adding a heavy entropy to the hand. And they're going to get equipping. Put that Abyss Scale on. Summoning the Moulin Glacia. Our hand is just in tatters. We got nothing. They're going to special summon. What was that? What was that? Tatsunoko. And then, look at this. They got Poseidra. They did it. They got my boy Poseidra. I'm so happy people are playing him after all this after all this time. Now I don't know why our opponent chose not to attack. Maybe they're just admiring our our culture here. We're gonna set this uh, definitely copy of Mirror Force. Don't even worry about it, opponent. No no fear. Going in for the attack. They got negates on negates. Bron gonna negate our mystical space typhoon. Send a message here. We, we definitely learned our lesson. You know, this is the happiest loss I've ever had. Losing uh, losing to my own deck. Not that bad, not that bad. Let's uh, let's check out our opponent's deck. See the differences. Because from what I saw, it looked like they were playing the exact same thing. Maybe maybe one of you watching this video is playing right now. If you're Seppuku, definitely leave a comment. Alright, let's check out the deck list. Alright, well, looks like uh, pretty similar to our list. With a couple, a couple key differences here, we got obviously three copies of Max C. Now, I, I just out of respect, don't play Max C. I feel like it might get banned. And when I win, if you win with Max C, you know, I don't know. I feel, I feel a little dirty. Kind of hope the card gets, gets put out of the game. But you know, uh, playing Max C, I can't blame you. Uh, only two copies of Fish Borg Launcher rather than the three I'm running. I think that's, that's probably a fine decision. Also. Uh, Going with two copies of more, I agreed. Definitely, this 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 player's looking to get the diva a little more often. Got a little more cycling. We do have one copy of Tenny Spirit Shasana, so this you can normal summon it uh, without using. Well, you can special summon it if you have no monsters on the field. So this plus a Deep Sea Minstrel will let you do a level seven synchro, which is not terrible. Also, could do a level five synchro with you have Fishborg Launcher. Although I don't see any level fives in the graveyard that are water. Now, Fishborg will only let you summon water, so uh, that not necessarily the best. So I'm not sure how much work this Tenny Spirit's doing, um, but but fair include, fair include. Also, you got some hand traps here. Got the three Deep Sea Arias, so definitely knows the importance of Diva. So I definitely agree with this. This list is pretty good. I you know I fully support this. If you want to steal this, I don't blame you. Now for the extra deck, I got some I got some questions for this this player. All right. Well, first of all, we got Denglong here. Now, I got Denglong, Denglong in my deck, but the only reason to play him is if you got the uh, Yangzing Trap, because once you make him, he'll search and negate. But on his own, making this, he's just a 2800 defense. Like, what? What's the point of that? Doesn't seem great. And you don't have any Deng, you don't have any Yangzing the deck to search when this dies. So, you know, opponent, come on, get this out, get get this out of here. Learn some culture. You know, you're you got to give him a good impression. Anyone who sees this. Coral Dragon, obviously great. White or a Dolphin, amazing. And we got Michael the Arch Light Storm. All right, buddy, look. One tuner, one or more non-light, uh, non-tuner light monsters, all right? We're playing waters. You're not playing lights. You can't make this. Get this out of here. This ain't, you're never going to make this. You can't make it. All right? 
And, and, and don't go in the comments and say, oh, well, he can make Denglong and then summon a, a level 2. Denglong's a tuner. Can't use that. And you're not going to give up your Herald of the Arclight. You're not going to use this. This is an Omni Negate. You don't make this so you can pop a, a Banish card with, with Michael. So, you know, opponent. Yeah, get this out of here. All right. What else we got? Shooting Sterilizer Dragon. Um, you know what? This is probably fine. I got no comments about that. That seems that seems like a fair include. Crimson Blader. That's a fair include. Destroys a monster if you uh, if you destroy a monster by battle. Your opponent can't special summon level five or higher monsters. That's that's a fair card. Fair card. But Borload, opponent. You you need link monsters. Borload needs link monsters, or he's just a three thousand beat stick. Look, what are you doing? This is this is ca this is some casual sh stuff right here. Um, all right, we got Chao Feng. Uh, I'm not sure what the purpose of this is. Maybe maybe our opponent is using this Deng Long in order to to make Chao Feng somehow. I uh, I'm not certain about that, but it seems a bit questionable to me. Obviously, the uh, Crocodile Dragon 100% Brawn 100% Vermilion 100%. So mostly mostly this is a pretty solid deck list, but maybe some questionable extra deck choices. Um, I am proud of my opponent for being a, a man of culture, a fellow man of culture, playing the the Sea Serpent Mermails. I actually saw a tournament where uh, Mermails uh, got, I think, second place, which is pretty pretty uh, solid. So, you know, maybe this deck's uh, better than everyone thought. All right, well, that was a lot of fun, but I got a couple more games. Let's go on to the next one. All right, all right. Well, no D.Va in this hand. We're just going to have to make do. Looks like our opponent went first and did nothing. We're going to draw not anything particularly useful. Let's do a little bit of jank here. Summon Marksman. Fish the Neptubus out of the deck. Little known play here. Neptubus going to activate. Sending Dragoons, adding Dragoons. Giving us a search. We are going to search for our Lapis Dragon. Lapis Dragon going to summon itself. We got nine on the field. We got a lot of cards in hand, so we're going to make the Crocker Dragon. Don't get to see this card too often, but big fan of it. When we summon, it's going to draw two cards, giving us the Deep Sea Diva we want so badly, and a Warrior Breed, which we're going to use to filter our hand a little bit. Teus is going to summon itself, sending the Dragoons to search for Mulan Glacia, and we got exactly five waters in the graveyard, so Mulan Glacia gets summoned and rip two cards from their hand. Speedroid Fuki mode and Speedroid Ultra Hour. Let's pass to the opponent here. They're going to activate Lightning Storm. Lightning Storm going to pop our Mulan Glacier here, making us lose our battle phase. They're going to try and special summon from the graveyard, so we're going to banish with the Call by the Grave to make sure that doesn't work. Opponents use their normal summon, so that's all they got. Pass back to us. We lost our battle phase, so not much we can do here except set up more negates. So we're going to Diva, special summon the Prince, try and make the Baron here, send out the Poseidra. This is going to activate, get us another Diva for next turn. And we're going to special summon using the uh, Teus on field, make the Baron. We're going to activate, get a look at their hand, but opponent's got nothing. Our idea here was to take a look at their hand, maybe know what to negate for next turn. But, uh, and we could have discarded the little gun here to special summon the Teus back to the field, but opponent not ready for it. Couldn't handle it. Too much power. All right, let's check out their deck list. All right, I think I've seen this list before. In fact, I think this was one of the loner lists. So, you know, good on you, opponent. If you don't have a synchro deck, playing the loner deck, perfectly respectable. Hopefully you have a bit better luck next time. I know the uh, Sea Serpent deck's going around us. It's a template against it. You know, you gotta be, you gotta be fearful now. Maybe we're meta. All right. That's the deck. Let's go on. We got one more game. All right, no Diva, but we got more A. So let's see if we can filter our hand, make it a bit better. We're gonna keep the Teus since that's a combo starter. Uh, unfortunately, he didn't draw anything better. So we're gonna make the Teus here. Search for the gun. We're gonna normal summon the Minstrel, which gives us exactly ten, so we can make the Baron the Flare. And we're gonna set our little MST here. Hopefully find a back row to pop and pass turn. See what opponent can do. Alright, opponent gonna activate tuning. We're gonna let that happen. 
They're going to add Junk Synchro on a hand. We really want to save our negate for something that's going to devastate. They could be trying to bait us here. Alright, they're going to activate E-Tele. Again, a Psy Reflector. Add in Assault Beast hand. They're going to normal summon the Doppel Warrior. Or special summon the Doppel Warrior, sorry. And make the Martial Metal March. The Marcher's going to activate and special summon a card from the graveyard. And they're going to get a couple tokens here. They're going to activate their Necro Synchron, not realizing it's negated, so their level modulation will not work. And they're going to Synchro Summon into TG Hyper Librarian, but this board, they realize it's not good enough. Can't face the might of the mighty Baronda Fleur, so they're going to surrender. Alright, let's check out the opponent's deck list. Okay. I, I, I'm not certain, but yeah, there's no way. Okay, so playing 42 cards, I know this is not one of the, uh, the loner decks. Loner deck, uh, should at least teach people a lesson that they should run 40 cards. Oh, they got the maxis, they got the ashes, so got all the hand traps in the world, but uh, didn't help them in this game. Maybe they couldn't figure out their combo, or maybe they just figured we weren't going to get baited by uh, with our Baron, and they had no way to break him. So, uh, having a lot of fun with this. Had a lot of fun with this tournament. Pretty, uh, pretty enjoyable. Um, hope you enjoyed the gameplay, and uh, I hope you have a good night.